Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful Hicho style large flower earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make matching jewelry sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks. And by the way, you are invited to share the beautiful works that you did following my tutorials on my Instagram or Facebook pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. If you want to support me, it's a good idea also to like, share and comment. And you don't know how much you help me only with this action. By the way, you could skip now the intro and the list of materials if you want and go to the process of creations if you don't want to listen to me every time talking about this because I have here chapters on my video and you could check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips if you don't want to watch long 20 minutes videos there I make only 2-3 minutes videos and you could see the whole idea of what I'm doing and if you like go to the full version and make it. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 oz seed beads. You could use less colors if you want and you could use 10 oz. And these are ear wires in black color. This is monofilm and that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are flat nose pliers that I used to go through the difficult bits, but they are not obligatory. Okay, so now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 of these chameleon beads. Okay, and I have my 12 here. You see, 3 times 4. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and I will stick my needle in my mat. And now guys I have this and I'm going to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made and pull. And I'm going to make one more knot and pull again. Okay, and I have this beautiful circle now here. And I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay, and in my next step, I'm going to pick up one dark red bead, three orange beads, and one dark red bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to uh, skip the next seed bead and go through the following. Okay, I go like this and then again I take a dark red, three orange beads and a dark red. This is what I have and I skip one seed bead and I go through the following. Okay, and then I repeat dark red, three oranges, dark red and I skip one seed bead. You see as I'm exiting here after this bead I skip one and I go through the following. Okay now guys I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and pay attention here at my last step. I'm going in the dark bead in the inner circle. Don't make the mistake to go through this bead here. Okay, then 
what I do is that I go through the dark red and through one of the orange beads in this direction and I'm going to take three yellow beads just like this and now I skip the orange that's here at the top and I go through the other orange and I pull then in my next step I take one black bead he, now I take black, not uh, chameleon, and I go here through this orange. Then in my next step, I take three yellows again. As I'm exiting here, I skip the next orange and go through the third orange. I'm exiting out of the first orange and then through the third. Now I take one black, go through one orange, take three yellow beads, skip one orange and go through the third orange. Then I take black one, and I go through the following orange. Okay guys, and now I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now pay attention that you should go through the orange this step. Okay, now I have this. Now in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go through this yellow one and add here two black beads and go through the following yellow then skip all the three yellows take two black beads and go through the following yellow then through the next yellow and two blacks again okay and repeat this until the end of this row Okay guys, now this row will be similar to the previous one, but this time I'm going between those two black beads that I added last and I will take just one black and go through the other black. Then again, just like this, a black one, and go in this direction then again between those two black beads add just one and continue this until the end of this row Okay, and now as I'm exiting out of this yellow, what I want to take is one chameleon bead, two black beads, two blue beads, sorry, one white, two blue beads, and one chameleon. Okay, chameleon, two blue, one white, two blue, and one chameleon. And as I'm exiting through this yellow bead here at the top, I'm going back in circle just like this and I'm making a beautiful 
loop of beads here. Then I continue in this direction. And I exit out of this blue bead, uh, sorry, black bead. And now I will repeat the same thing that I did before. I take a chameleon bead, two blue beads, one white, two blue beads, and one chameleon. I will pause here to see what I'm taking. And as I'm exiting through this black one here, that I added in my last row. What I do is that I go around like this and make another beautiful loop of beads. Then I'm aiming for the central yellow bead and I will repeat the same thing. Chameleon, two blue, one white, two blue, Chameleon. Okay, the same thing. And I go back like this. And after I go back in circle through the yellow, I go through as many beads as I can in this direction. Because my goal is to exit out of the next black bead that's sticking out. And you see how I'm adding these loops where the beads are sticking out. One yellow, one black. One yellow, one black. And here of the beads that are sticking out the most, I'm adding my beads. Now I need a chameleon, two blue, one white, two blue, and a chameleon. Okay. And I go back through this black one. And in one movement, I managed to go out of the Yellow, if you can do this in one movement, don't worry, do it in two movements. Okay, and now I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And you see now I have this. And what I want to do in this step is go through these two blue beads in this direction. Now I want to take five blue beads. Okay, I have my five blue beads here. And as I'm exiting through these two beads, I will flip my work in this direction because it's easier for me to go in this way. And uh, I will skip this central white bead and I will go here through the first blue bead. Okay. Now I have this. And I'm going to pick up one black bead. And as I'm exiting here between those two uh, blue beads or one blue bead away from the darker part of my work. I will go through this blue. So now I pull and I have this. Then in my next step, guys, I'm going to pick up five blue beads. Okay, I have five blue beads here. And I'm going to skip the white bead and go through the following blue. Okay, and in my next step, I'm taking just one black bead and I'm going through the following blue. And I'm going to pick five again. Okay, five. Skip the white and go through the first blue bead. Then I take one black bead here and I go between those two blue beads from my next element and then again five blue one black five blue one black and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video 
and repeat these three steps everywhere until you finish your work. Okay, pause this video, do this and meet me. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I want to take here is one black bead and you see I'm going in the same place like I did before between the last and the next bead blue beads that are before the dark part of my work and now guys I will go through all of those blue beads in this direction And I want to exit here one blue bead away from this black bead. Okay. And now as I'm here, you see, I'm going to take two black beads and go in the same place here. Through the third blue bead counting from here. One, two, three. This is the third one. And I pull. Then I will go here through some blue beads until I exit here in the same place through the third blue bead from the center counting from here. One, two, three. This is the third one and I'm exiting out of it. And I'm going to take two black beads and I go one, two, three. This is the third one so I go through it between the second and the third bead counting from the center okay then again one two three this is the third one I'm going through it between the second and the third bead and I take two black beads and I go again through the third blue bead counting from the center and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last two black beads from this row just like this and then I go here at the top through this blue bead and I want to attach my earring finding and in order to do this I take four black beads then I take my earring finding and then I take four black beads again and as I'm exiting here at the top out of the bead that's sticking out the most I'm going here in the same place next to this bead that's sticking out the most okay okay now I have this and what I want to do next is go and reinforce this joint that I did And by the way, if you can, you could go even three times through it. But when you go enough times through it, and you feel it's all secure, it's time to make a knot and cut your thread. And how I'm making my knot, I make here a loop. And what I do is that I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready, go through the following seed bead and cut your thread. 
And now my Hitro style large flower earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my Hitro style seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit that bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you will be inspired usually twice a week. And I will be showing you matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. So you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And I will be so glad to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks. And by the way, you are invited to share the beautiful works that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, for new ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.